So I'm going to talk about the drivers and barriers of health information technology. There have been numerous studies um, that hypothesize about the pros and cons of adopting HIT and they mainly focus on the healthcare professionals and the patients. Um, the adoption of HIT in the U.S. remains a prevalent topic along with the drivers and the barriers. Um, and to me, um, the most important drivers include the improvement of efficiency, quality, and safety and the improvement of the integrated delivery systems and the barriers include cost and the complexity of the transition. So as it is known, this generation is an era of um, technology. With that being said, healthcare has an option to adopt all of these new technologies. And by adopting these new technologies, patient care can progress and healthcare professionals can allow for a more unified delivery system. Um, the Center for Studying Health System Change carried out a survey to physicians and it was concluded that <clears throat> 77% of physicians access the internet, 53 obtain information for treatment alternatives, 32 obtain information on formularies, and 11% use it to write prescriptions. So based on the survey, physicians tend to use some of these technologies during their everyday routine, and they obviously increase uh, the productivity. So with patient care in mind, if the physician can increase productivity, then the patient receives faster service and better quality. And for example, if a, a patient were to be asked whether they want their x-rays to be on film, and filed somewhere in a warehouse or digitalized and put into their electronic health record, it's obvious which would be preferred. Wait for the film to develop and have the, or have the image right there in front of you. With the simple adoption of HIT, a physician is able to have access to patient records and to see the history and any results of the patient. So the patient will be more sure that their diagnosis is correct and that treatment is necessary. And it's also very convenient for a patient to be able to track their own records. And according to um, <clears throat> the Institute of Medicine in 2004, there is an estimated uh, 44,000 to 98,000 deaths in the U.S. due to medical errors. The chart to the left um, proves that medical errors are a real occurrence. Incorrect doses, wrong time for medicine, and wrong patients receiving the wrong drug could all potentially be fixed by using technology. Um, simple alerts can be made um, <clears throat> about which patient should be receiving what medicine, and the quantity can be checked by having access to a patient chart. And um, with HIT, safety can definitely advance in, area, in areas such as the distribution of medicine. So while efficiency, quality, and safety remain an important factor for improvement by the adoption of HIT, so is an integrated delivery system, which in terms of you know, joint efforts to function under a cohesive structure. So integration is being compelled by the need to bring all the components of a delivery system together to create a single point of responsibility and accountability. So for example, if a patient is being treated for a condition and needs to see a specialist, then the records are easily accessible and able to be seen by both physicians. <clears throat> the specialist can see the physician's notes and all the patient information and health history, while the physician can also see the specialist's notes and you know any new medication that is prescribed. So through the ability of patients to obtain information on their own as well, they can better manage their condition and communicate with the healthcare system. Um, Interpolarity increases due to the, the in, due to the delivery systems <clears throat> that are compatible and can be used to send and receive information. So the adoption of HIT can enhance healthcare, but it, can al it also consists of certain barriers as well that hinder the, the decisions of the healthcare professionals to make the move. So the two important barriers include the expenditures and the complexity of the transition. So first and foremost, in order for healthcare professionals to begin, they have to consider the fact that there are a lot of costs that are involved. Um, you know, the adoption doesn't just take a day, it takes years, and they have to take into consideration that the technology needs assessment, hardware, software, licensing, training, <coughs> upgrades, maintenance, um, and on top of the hundreds of billions of dollars that it costs to purchase and maintain all of these, um, some healthcare institutions do not have the funding for that. So, um, you know, and there's also the uncertainty um, in the financial return to the investment that they would be making. Um, HIT costs are so high that in 2009 there was the American Recovery Act which included a $30 billion allocation. So, you know, the large apportionment may actually frighten healthcare professionals instead of encourage them. Um, while costs weigh may heavily on the shoulder of healthcare professionals and patients, the transition alone may breed panic as well. Um, the barrier of a complicated changeover creates a whole other issue. Healthcare professionals will have to start all over in terms of their routines and their procedures. They'll all be required to take time from their work and from their patients um, to attend training. And training can take months and be difficult for some participants to acquire the new technology. If the staff can't get a grasp of the new technologies, then the, then the patients are at risk. Um, <clears throat> you know, instead of improvement, the patient quality, the care of the quality can actually deteriorate. 
And just when the staff thinks that they could be finished with a training, new technology comes out, and then, you know, it's just a continual training. Um, <clears throat> so the issue focus is on what is important and what will be taken from the patients in the organization's productivity as a whole. Um, to close, it is important to realize that the advancements in technology are accompanied with an ever so growing array of new issues and unknowns defining the struggle of the adoption of HIT. Um, <clears throat> you know, there is really no answer as to whether or not HIT should be adopted. Um, I really do like this, um, this chart. You know, it shows um, the deadlock. Um, if the vendors won't lower their prices, the payers and the purchasers won't buy, and then the providers <clears throat> cannot have access to these new technologies. So it's just kind of like a never-ending circle. Um, so that is my summary of the drivers and barriers of health information technology. Thank you.